Okay, welcome everybody. Coffee and art in the morning. I'm Dee Dee. It's Wednesday. And I think this, let me, maybe I do need to turn this side lamp on. Let's test that out. There we go. Let there be light. <laughs> uh, depends on the day. Today's really overcast, so I can put on brighter lights. <clears throat> when the sun's coming through, I have to turn some of them down. <coughs> So, if y'all remember Monday, we started this Make Something Beautiful color book planner. It's a planner made from a color book. I did finish the basic bones of it that we I showed you starting on Monday. So, I did finish that. Uh, and we're going to do a giveaway with something similar. Now, Kelly and I have both colored a page or well, a half page in this. But I said it's still... It, it has to be, I have to give it away because it's, look, it's perfect for the planner, the calendar, pl I mean the uh, color book planner. So I'm going to give it away even though Kelly and I have done a couple little bits in it. You know, tear those pages out if you don't want them. There's plenty in here though to do a, cal um, a planner, 2017 planner out of a color book. So we're going to give that away after a while. If you're watching this, um, if you're watching this show on YouTube recordings, this is a live show on Ustream. Uh, feel free to come over and chat. I stream every Monday, most Wednesdays, and some Fridays at 9 a.m. Eastern. It's free. Come over and all you have to do is just sign, give yourself a name and an email, sign up. And if you want notifications of when I stream, if you follow me um, and, and allow for email notifications then uh anytime i go live you should get a you should get a uh email alert so i think i said hi to everybody that's popped in this morning before i hit record if i miss saying hi to you i try to say hi when i see somebody pop in the chat and i'll say good morning so and so they probably have an ad right then so they don't ever hear me say good morning anyway oh my goodness so yeah Okay, before we get started, just kind of do a flip through of this and do a giveaway with this. This is going to be its own little segment. So it probably will be a kind of a short segment, although, you know, around here, who knows. But I wanted to uh, uh, talk about a little bit, uh, a lot of us streamers that have been around streaming for like six years or some, some less have... Um, are signed up to do a streamathon on New Year's Eve. So what that means is we will have is it 12 hours or 24 Jean? I think it's is it 24 hours streamathon? Um I have her blog up on another browser. I'm going to show that in a minute. Uh, I mean tell that in a minute so that if you're not doing anything on New Year's Eve, if you're homebodies <laughs> or you just want to stay home and, you know, art and craft then uh, you know, feel free to watch the streamathon. We've done it a few years. We didn't do it last year, but we have done it a few years. Twenty-two or twenty-three hours. Thanks, Jean. So what I'm going to do real quickly is I'm not going to be able to see chat for just a minute, and I'm going to go to another browser real quick and read off the people that are streaming. If you want to to see the actual timetable that Jean has made, and she she gave me the last two names to add to it. Um, that she hasn't put on there yet. But let me just uh, quickly read off all times that I'm getting ready to read off our Eastern time, U.S., Eastern time. So Heather in U.K., Bunny Designs. Now, again, um, you'll have to go to Jean's uh, blog, which is The Musical Scrapper, all one word, the musical scrapper dot blogspot dot com, and sh her charts like right up there toward the top of her blog. So it will start on Saturday, December thirty first at seven forty five a.m. Okay, and that's Eastern time. So Bunny Design starts for an hour. And then Jean's got me down for two hours. <laughs> Jean's got me down um, on from 8.45 to 10.45. That's okay, because I, I got some giveaways planned. So y'all make sure and be there. I got some giveaways planned. Uh, so I will be streaming from 10, 4, I mean 8.45 to 10.45. And then we have Carrie. I carry love. And all the links, all the links to the uh, streamers' streams are on Jean's chart. Thanks so much for doing this, Jean. Then Carrie's streaming from 10.45 to 12.45. Then Debbie Epps is streaming from 12.45 to 2.45. 
Zandra, okay, so I guess everybody is streaming for two hours. Thanks, Jean. Zandra, which is um, 2.45 to 4.45. Me, uh, my, uh, little P, <laughs> M-I-E-K-E. -E. I'm not sure how she pronounces her nickname, but that's Little P. She streams from 4.45 to 6.45. Then there's a blank. And so I'm Jean will fill it in before before the uh, stream. Then Jen Oz in Australia, she will be streaming 8:15 p.m. to um, 9:45 p.m. Again, guys, just go look at the chart. And then after that is Jean, musical scrapper Jean, and then she streams for a couple hours from 8:45 to 11:45. Then Janet, J Merle Janet. She will stream from 11.45 to 1.15 a.m. And then Colleen, because see, it's, we're going around the world, so we want everybody to hit midnight. So, yeah. Colleen is streaming from 1.15 a.m. to 2.45. She's streaming for an hour. And then Sarah O. is streaming from 2.45 to 4.45. And then Jean just gave me the last two. Natalie England is going to stream from 4.45 a.m. to 6.45. And then Miko will stream the final two uh, uh, hour and a half or whatever, from 6.45 to 8. So again, just go look at the musicalscrapper.blogspot.com. I'm going to turn the chart off now so I can't read it anymore. So there you go. So yeah. So <laughs> A dot. <clears throat> so, hey, Carrie, so if you are so inclined, the 24-hour stream-a-thon before New Year and into New Year <coughs> will um, go to the musicalscrapper.blogspot.com to see Jean's chart with links. She's got links. So if you're watching the stream-a-thon, you can click a link to the next person. When one person's over, you just go back to Jean's chart and the, she has a direct link so you can just click that person's link and go to the next person and then when that person's done go back to Jean's chart and you got a direct link so yeah thanks for making that for us yeah you can either you can print it out but if you need a direct link just keep it handy so that you can uh, link to the next streamer on uh, New Year yeah so I do have some, um, some giveaways planned that day. I'm giving away a couple of um, uh, books for the best, uh, for the people. Uh, there's two or three people that I'm going to give um, new color books to that um, have worked the hardest <laughs> that I've seen. That I've seen the most posts, the work the hardest, art-wise. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to be doing some giveaways uh, on, on my stream. So yeah, I'm glad I'm glad Jean slotted me for two hours. <laughs> okay, okay, thanks, Jean. Yeah, the, they'll have the links added soon. Okay, yeah, well, she, Jean will have the chart already before New Year's. Okay, or you can copy and paste, you know, or just type them in. They're, they'll, you, it won't be that hard. We know we know how to get around the net. Um, Scooby Girls, looking forward to the new year. Sound like such a good time. Thanks, everyone, for doing this. You're welcome, Scooby. Okay, so on Monday, we started. Kelly had sent me some new color books, this being one. And I just put up one of these. You can use hair bands, or you can buy these little bands. Like that. I'm at Michael's and different places. A hair band. I think this one might be a hair band. I don't remember. But these are all, these stretchy bands work great for, um, you know, your journal or any book that you want to, <clears throat> that you want to, uh, you know, keep shut. Especially if it's some kind of a journal, planner, or something they're adding things to all year long. You really want to have either, you know, either horizontal or vertically. Um, this one's a little stretched out. That's why I used it for this, for a vertical closure. But you can get the kind, you know, go around this way as well. <clears throat> so we started this on Monday. Uh, yes, thank you, Jean, for putting that together. 
So we started this on Monday, turning a color book into a planner. Again, I don't really do dates. I don't mind a planner, and I love all the goodies and the cute stickers and, and the washi tapes. I love all of it. As long as nobody puts one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on it because that makes me just like OCD because I feel like I have to fill out every day that I everything I do that year because I've told you all the story where I tried that one year back in 2008. <laughs> Anyway, so whether you use this for a dated calendar planner or, um, you know, now again, guys, I do have some, certain calendars and planners that I use for specific projects like uh, my birthday book here. I showed this a little while ago. This is my birthday book. It's, it's a Michael's planner thing that they had, out, you know, however many, six months ago. And it's a, because it's a uh, 16, I think it's 6, 12, 13, 14, yeah, 16 month planner. And this is my birthday book. The only thing, and I, so I do need dates on some things. This is a date, it, it's for all the birthdays. So that's all this is, is just the birthdays. But when I have to do a planner for myself, that, that you write down everything you do every day, I can't do it. Just can't do it. So, but I love lists. I love bullet journaling. I'm a lister. I love lists. Lists are my, I love my list life. And everything that, <laughs> everything I list usually goes on post-it notes. <laughs> so anyway, that being said, on Monday we started this. Um, we did some tipping, um, like with the stretchy, stretchy cord to tip in some pages. I made, ta I went ahead and made, remade tabs with um, the packing tape. I remade my tabs, and I'll show you how I'm going to do this. I'm not going to write January, February. I'm just going to number them. But, and then I use, and I told y'all this particular book, this particular book has perforations. If your book has perforations, your color book that you're using for a planner has perforated pages, you really need to washi tape the edges. Now, I just did the edges, but what I'm probably going to do as I go through it, I'm going to put a contrasting washi tape to finish the edges like for instance like here we got an orange um, an orange polka dot so what I'll probably do is take a, something completely different and contrast it on the rest I only did the edges for now because I did like 50 pages and it was taking me forever <laughs> and I wanted it done for today so I'll probably do go through and and at least on the front, not necessarily on the backs, but at least on the front, put another piece of washi tape just to kind of connect the two little bits that I I put so that my perforated pages would not fall out. Especially when you start bulking this up, if you have perforated pages, they're going to tear out. Trust me. You need to at least put washi tape on the top and bottom so the perforations don't start to tear. Um, but this will also, even though it's thin, it will bulk your pages up a little bit. Let me show you what mine looks like so far. So you can see all the washi, well, I can't get any closer than that. You can see all the washi tape on every single page on the tops and the bottoms there. Okay, so I'm going to do a little flip through this book, and then we're going to give away this pretty pattern one. Now, I, like I said, Kelly and I have colored like just a, just a little tiny bit in this. So if you... <laughs> um, Okay, hang on, Hubster's messaging me, I got it. Hang on, one minute, one moment, please. Okay. Um, <clears throat> if you don't want the couple, there's like two pages in here that we started coloring on. If you don't want, and these are already colored. This is not our coloring here. This is all done. It's half colored for you. But what I like about it is the back page is blank. This page, this book does not have perforation. So you don't have to worry about washi taping this particular book because the pages are not perforated. But I just thought it would be fun for someone to start or try one. Again, all this is already pre-colored. That's printed. It's like these pages are half colored for you. So it's really a cute book. But Kelly and I have done, you know, added a couple of things in there. But, you know, like here. So if you don't want the pages that we added a little bit of stuff to, you can tear those out. But whatever. I thought it was perfect. It's a perfect book to do this kind of thing with. So we're going to do a giveaway with that. All right. That being said, 
um, I'm going to go ahead and do a little flip through. I did put one of my uh, one Cam's uh, drawings that I turned into stickers. I put that in the front book. But this is something, make something beautiful, coloring in the maximal, maximalist style by Barry J. And I read her little introduction thing on Monday. So I'm just going to do a quick flip through. Now this page was not perforated here. Because, um, yeah, it is the intro page. So I all I did was I made, I just took some old planner sheets. I stamped out the month at the top. And again, I don't do one, two, three, four, five. I'll just bullet journal anything I need for the month. Like if I don't do anything till the 5th, then I'll just write blah, 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 the 5th. You know, I'm not going to get, you know, OCD about keeping track of everything I do again. That just doesn't work for me. If it works for you, don't email me. It's fine. It's fine. And if you do need some planner people to go look at, I would recommend Miss Vicki B. Go to Miss Vicki B. If you like planners, you know, she's she does reviews on every kind of planner. And she does color books. And, and all of us here, we all know Miss Vicki B. And if you're watching this show, you probably know her too. But anyway, we love our Miss Vicki B. Okay, so, and I've also stuck a couple post-it notes on every page just to kind of show you, you know, what we're, what you can add. Uh, I did not glue the page down. I just, um, I just uh, glue sticked the page down. And again, I will probably, let me get one here. I will probably take, where's my washi tapes? Hang on. I have a few. <laughs> I will probably take a washi tape on where I've, just to make it more decorative. I've already, I've glued it down. It's not coming up. The side is not going to come up. Let me find something here. What do I want for January? I like this blue flowering bit. So I'll just add a little bit of washi tape right along this edge, just so it gives it a little bit more decorative look. And, and this is, mine's going to be eclectic. Okay, now I don't want to go past my edge here because then I won't be able to fold it open. Mine's going to be eclectic, so nothing's going to match. But <laughs> you could you could match whatever you kind of want to do uh, with your month or whatever. A lot of planner ladies, you know, they have it very color coordinated and, and all that. You could use this for your journal instead of a like instead of a planner if you're a journaler um if you do um you know meditation or you know uh, bible reading or uh, any kind of um you know quotes or anything like that you could keep track of that m by month as well but i didn't want to i didn't want to glue this I mean, I didn't want to glue the whole paper down because I want to have all this real estate to work on, too. And this is heavier cardstock, so you could even do, you know, more heavier um, paint or, you know, things that you need a little thicker paper for. Or you could continue your journaling onto more pages. You could put more than one page or you could put two, three, you know. It depends on how bulky you want to get your your, pay, your book. Um <laughs> there you go, Terry. Terry said her house decor is eclectic. Nothing matches. That's a style, though, Terry. Okay, so you can kind of see how we just did that. I just um, I just stamped out the months. However, you could print out a calendar page. You could print out a calendar page and a blank page. You know, you can get those free printouts all over the place for calendars and planners and journals and all that. So you can add as many as you want. So the, the benefit of doing this, and again, you have to have a one-sided color book. We don't have to, but, you know, um, you could just, you know, tape this over a color book page. That's fine, too. Um, is you have all, you know, you have a thing to color and doodle on. Now, that doesn't mean you have to color this like a masterpiece here. You could write notes in here. You could add some quotes in here. And sorry, Eileen, if you're watching this again for the full minute. It's not pink. It's not pink. It's not painted yet. <laughs> Colored yet. But you could use this to write your you know, quotes in here. You can write your grocery list in here. It doesn't matter. You can do it. It's your, you know, you're the boss of your planner color book. So what I did is I just took scrapbook paper and, um, and put uh, 
a little it's just a little square about a two by two inch square something like that and I just put packing tape over the little square folded it in half and I use my corner chomper to chomp the corner so they're rounded you don't have to do that you can just snip them with the scissors you know and um, so I put four across the top in three rows so I got January February March April May June July August September October November December okay and what I did is I skipped a couple pages in between so you have a couple pages for the month of January I know this I know this is making sense to anybody that's done a journal planner calendar any of that so and uh, and I did go ahead and washi tape again I put washi tape on just the edges so that the perforations don't come out so uh, you know that is a little trickier when you have a perforated book um, like I said, this one that I'm going to give away, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh. Is not perforated. It does not have perforated pages. So you don't have to worry about it, the perforations starting to tear as your book bulks up. If you all have any questions, put them in caps. Your life is eclectic. Organized chaos. Hey, honey, Jill. Anybody else popping in? Okay, so I'm just going to flip. So, like, here's February. Again, I just stuck a couple post-it notes just to show you guys. You know, add a couple of little bits. You could add some stickers. Um, okay, so here, February. I think, what color? I put a, I want to put a different color. I'm going to put, a like, a pinky red color here. So, I saved this part just so I could do something here on the project. I'm just going to washi tape my and this is more for decorative purposes than anything because I glue sticked this in it's not going anywhere and the washi tape is not actually holding anything in it's just for decorative purposes so you can see what you can do here and again I just made little little tabs my tabs go over the edge of the color book if you don't like that make them shorter <laughs> just doesn't bother me I like it eclectic like that when things aren't perfect like that's going over the edge and all then you're not as so precious with your book you're not so oh my gosh I'm gonna mess it up use it to use it use it so yeah there we go I'm just gonna kind of flip through here so I washi taped all the the edges and occasionally I went ahead and put uh, a long piece in I'll eventually put long pieces on all of it because I like the way it looks but at least, you know, if you have a perforated book, just go ahead and do that. Okay, next, March. Let's see, what do I want on March? Hmm. We have another flower one here. Let's do a flower. Hey, Fran. Hey, Terry A. Anybody else popping in? We're just, uh, I'm just uh, adding a little bit of washi tape here to my calendar well I'm going to call it a planner color book because or color book planner whichever way you want to say it so again you got plenty of space add some post-it notes add your stickers whatever okay there's March now I'm going to flip through to April See, so you got a couple blank pages in between. Depends on how thick your color book is as to how many pages you have, how many pages you can skip. However, remember we did this. With the uh, elastic cording, you can do, you can do um, tip ins with uh, scrapbook paper or, you know, anything. You can, you can tuck in anything. You know, let me get a sheet. I don't have a sheet of paper right here. Anyway, you can fold anything and, and tuck it in here. It could be a little smaller notes. It could be, you know, you could add more. So I added about, how many pages did I add? Let's see. I think about six. I think I added six, one, two, five. Five, five extra pages just to have some more space to do more projects. And it's always nice to have a... Um, you can just use a rubber band to do the same thing. The rubber band won't give you tails, but uh, you can just rubber band around the edge and put, um, you know, tip ins with a rubber band, like we do rubber band books, to accomplish the same thing. Okay, let's see for April. I like these little stars. And if you have a lot of leftover washi tapes, this is a good way to use up your washi tapes, you know. 
<clears throat> so y'all have any questions just ask but I think I'm explaining it fairly <laughs> it's not hard okay May let's see some John get some bright here's a nice bright one I'm not doing any particular thing I'm just putting some pretty colors in here So we got May. There's a different tabs. I just use bits of uh, scrapbook paper left over for um, the tabs. And again, I just put packing tape on them. Oh, and what I was going to say is how I'm going to, I'm going to get out some um, stickers dated like one two three four five you know twelve and i'm just going to put on the front of them i'm just going to put a one a two a three i'm just going to stick a sticker a number sticker over the top so that it you know instead of writing out the word january february march i'm just going to have one two three four you know just going to number them number the months rather than write them out so i'm just going to stick stickers on them So I'm just kind of letting y'all see the tops here so you can see all the different tapes and things. All right, so here we go with June. Uh, let's see, I like this purple stripe. And then... July. I'm trying to do at least, you know, some different ones here every month. It's July. This is a pretty one. And then you got your color book page. So you can, you know, doodle notes. Um, like I said, if you're a journaler, an actual, you journal about things, then you could journal things, color, stop and think and pause and yeah. August, let's see here. Let's go with this pretty polka dot orange. I want to get off the edge. I don't want to tape my pages together. <laughs> so it's just a way to use a color book and make it a planner. Tabs. So what I did again, I put four across like January, February, March, April, and then the, then I started over close and did four tabs and you know just did three sets of four. Okay. Okay. Did I miss something here in August? No. Oh, I think I meant to stick these on here. <laughs> okay. So you can and these pages are partially already colored. See, that's already colored. It reminds me of the Daphne's Daphne's Diary magazine. Which you can make this out of a magazine. You know, we've done enough magazine journals here. You can make a magazine journal into a planner. All right, September. Let's see here. I like this music notes. Hey, Bonnie. Anybody else popping in? We're just kind of going back over the... Adding a little bit of washi tape. To the planner color book planner then you got all this space jot notes color doodle see that washi tapes already coming up that's why I'm always one about adding a little bit of glue to your washi tape if it's actually holding something you know all right and then here's another uh, another little uh, Tip in with the elastic cording. Okay, Oct 
October. Let's see. I like this. Okay. And I think you can see then here's a little tab. So I got a tab at the at the facing of each one. Messages locked in. Hey, okay, November. Two more here. I think I'll do this red polka dot in December. Let's see. Here's one with uh, the watches or the gears and watches. So I hope y'all will at least give it a shot with a, you know, a, a color book you may not use. Or it's, you know, just lots of, you can use whatever kind you want. So here again, I got another tip in. I did this one going the other way. So again, it's just the cording, elastic cording. December. We'll go with this polka dotty red. Maybe if I can get it started. There we go. to organize my washi tray now <laughs> so yeah and then you still got a few pages back here in the back for other things I did go ahead and tape those in the only things I did not tape in were in this particular book at the back there's like four pages that have like watercolor paper um, here's another tip in with the uh, elastic cording is the very back four pages in this book have that watercolor type paper and I did not washi tape those in because I'll probably here's another little tip in because I will probably uh, tear these out so I didn't put washi tape because I'll probably tear these out and do something with these because they're on nice watercolor type paper as you can see so they put four of those in this book, like that. So again, that is that is my little um, color book planner, and I just put a hair one of these hair, elastic hair things on there like that. So I hope y'all thought that was kind of a fun project. It was a quick project. Again, you can do this with um, you know uh, a nicer magazine that has a little bit. Well, I don't know maybe a magazine may not hold up a magazine journal like we've done the magazine journals that may not hold up but a color book definitely will has a planner eight dds <laughs> has a planner. oh i don't know what you're doing there terry uh, <laughs> okay so i am now going to if my mods are ready i got uh, yeah i got four or five of them here three or four yeah i got enough here to herd the cats herd cats terry not hurt them that so we can do a giveaway for the pretty pattern book again all this is already pre printed for you see so you can't really be intimidated <laughs> too much because it's already half colored for you right <laughs> but it's just a really cute book and it's, it would make a it, it'll make a good one of the these uh, planner ideas see <laughs> oh it was an oops okay so yeah so we're gonna give this away and of course you don't have to make a planner with it you can just color it cut it out use the images in a journal or whatever but anyway this is a um, beautiful plant patterns to color who makes this um little simon little simon makes this 
it'll be a fun one. Okay, let me bring up uh, random.org. Now, how the giveaways work, it's always the same. Don't put in a number yet. Don't put in a number yet. Wait, when you see me, type in go. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. Look what I, look, I uh, opened my, um, <laughs> when I opened my uh, iPad, look what was there. <laughs> <laughs> that was just there left over from when I was looking up cat faces or something. Anyway, <laughs> when I type in the word go, uh, then put in a number between 1 and 100. The closest without going over, I'm going to send this to one number only. One number only, please. <laughs> okay, so I got my random.org. I'm going to bring up the little generate. So we haven't generated a number yet. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and I know there's a lag. So when you, you know, you see numbers rolling by, you know it's time to put in a number. Because I do know there's a lag. I can't do anything about it. All right. <laughs> Oh, gee. Too much fun. Too much fun on a... Well, it's hump day, so we should have fun, right? <laughs> I'll give everybody a minute to put their numbers in. So, yeah. Let me get a post-it note. Everybody put in a number. And again, don't forget about the streamathon on New Year's Eve. Starts like at 6 in the morning, I think, and goes for 24 hours. Again, it's music the musical scrapper dot dot com is Jean's blog for a list of everybody that's streaming and their times. So put in your put in your uh and you save it, save Jean's blog for New Year's Eve, because it'll be fun. All right, everybody get done. Put your numbers in now, or, or, or forget it. <laughs> Last call for a number. I know it wants to flash out. Last call for a number. Okay, stop. So, let's generate a number. Here we go. Generate 15. The closest to 15 without going over. 15 is the number. So my mods will herd the cats. <laughs> I'll give them a minute to go, you know, flip through. So, yeah. We love our giveaways here, but sometimes it's tricky business. Tricky business <laughs> to do giveaways. <laughs> okay, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the girls to tell me. Terry, did you win? Terry? Franna? Who did it? Franna. Franna? Okay. Franna! Okay, Franna had 14. Okay, Franna, let me check. I'll check. Let me check. Let me check the vault. I'm going to check the vault to see if I have your address. <laughs> I think I do, Franna. If I don't, though, somebody can put my email in there for Franna. Do I have it, Franna? I have, no, I don't think I do. Send me your email, Franna. I mean, send me your address. Send me your address, Franna, and I will mail you your color book planner. Okay? All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and stop this video. Thanks, everybody, for watching this little quick little update on our color book planner and giveaway, and we will be right back.